Hey ya, it's Gina. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing a single palette look to create this eye look right here. So if you guys like what you see, then hit that subscribe button, give this video one big like, and we'll get right to it. Alright, so for this single palette look, I'll be using my Tartelette in Bloom palette. Okay, so I do have my eyeshadow primer on already. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my white base and I'll be going into Charmer right here. I'm going to go up to the brow bone. Okay, next I'll be taking Smarty Pants, which is this one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that mostly all over the lid, using the previous colors of Charmer as an easier place to blend it all. So using the same brush, I will take the color right here, which is called Rebel, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye. And mostly for eye looks, you don't want to go from like the whitest color to the darkest color ever. You go up like you're going up steps. So the first step is your primer and your whitest or lightest looking color and after that you go on to the next darker looking color and you keep building up so that's what I've done so I did Charmer which was the lightest color and then I went to Smarty Pants which was a little bit darker color and next I'm doing the third color up which is Rebel see how nicely it lays all the colors on your eye. It's a very nice gradient. I don't like super defined lines like right up here. So I try to blend that out. I'm going to take the same exact color Rebel and I'm going to put it under my eye. When doing under eyes like what I'm doing right now. Unless you have like a white liner that you want to put on. You want to help pop the color. Don't pick the lightest color. Your under eye. So normally I would stop there and start doing my lid highlight and whatnot, but I'm going to actually add in another color which is called Leader. It's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it in. Like I was looking at this color and I was like wow that's a pretty color. I really want it to go on my lids. So yeah, and then when you take your darkest or next to darkest color, you always want to, if you're trying to do like a smoky eye, you always put it on the outside and then blend it in. When in doubt, blend your way out. Next for this look, I'm going to take Firecracker, which is this color right here, and I'm going to use that as my eyelid highlight. For like shimmers or stuff, I always like to use a packing brush so it can pick up everything. And I'm going to leave my inner corner open for the inner corner highlight. Okay, so next I'm going to take my color here which is called funny girl it's right here and i'm going to use that as an inner corner highlight i like to use this brush because it has a point and can get in my inner corner pretty well when it's not that much of a packing brush it does get everywhere i think i got some of my contacts oh well brush away So I'm going to swatch Funny Girl for you guys. See you. This color right here. I put that on my inner corner. And look. It's very shiny. It's 
It's very cream. I barely touched that pan right there. So I did bought this palette of my own. So I didn't get it for free or anything. So this is what I personally think and all of that. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and show you guys the finished look. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I did like a copper neutral color and using my Tarte Lit in Bloom palette. So if you guys like this look and want to see what other looks I have in store for you guys, then don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!